Hi guys, welcome to today's video. Today we have a review on the latest Netflix movie, The Devil All The Time. Sinister characters converge around a young man devoted to protecting those he cares about in a post-war backwards town teeming with corruption and brutality. As I mentioned, this is the new Netflix movie, so I'll explain if it's any good or not. Now, it must be said, if you know anything about this movie, then you know that the cast is fantastic. It's very stacked, but the question is, do they live up to their expectations? And I can tell you that they do. Every single cast member is fantastic, whether that's the big names who are some of the main characters in this movie, or some who you haven't seen for a very long time who are making somewhat of a career in their later age. Dudley. <laughs> Out of these phenomenal acting performances, big praise has to go to Robert Pattinson, Tom Holland, and Bill Skarsgård. The past few years we've seen Robert Pattinson steal the headlines for the good reasons this time, not for Twilight, but for performances in movies like The Lighthouse, and obviously now that he's Batman. So, well, you kind of knew what to expect from Patterson in here. It's a great job from him, as expected. Now, Tom Holland, we all know he's great. He's our Spider-Man, but we haven't seen him in anything like this before, and he does a superb job, even nailing that accent. With Bill Skarsgård, everyone knows he was great as Pennywise, but other than the two It movies, Allegiant and Deadpool 2, which he didn't have big parts in either of them, I am not too familiar with some of his acting, I haven't seen a broad range of his acting skills and he was superb in this movie, I actually think he was the best performance. Now this movie has some very, very shocking moments and therefore very powerful. And for me, it's, I know it's not for everyone, but it included a lot of very intense and dark stuff which if you do it right and you capture the audience which is what this movie does, you can make a truly great movie. And yes, it does have those shocking moments, has very dark moments which just make you sit there with your jaw dropped. As for narration, I'm not really normally the fan. It's fine if it's in like a kids movie or whatever, or a Disney movie. And it was present in this and I wasn't, at first I was like, oh, narration, I'm not sure about this. But as it went on, it was actually very good. You know, it's very helpful. With this movie didn't give you too much time to know the characters personally, so narration kind of filled in those gaps. It had these little details about the characters so you could remember about them. Not in some movies they have characters do something which looks very forced just so you can remember that or it has some payoff later on. But in this they include all these details which were very important and for once I think the narration fit perfectly in this movie. And fun fact, I saw this somewhere, I hope it's true, but the narrator in this was the author of the book. One thing about this movie as well is it's very hard to predict, you know, there's sometimes these sort of movies can be ruined because they're predictable, but no. As I mentioned, shocking things happen, dark things happen, and they catch you by surprise, and they leave you jaw dropped. Where things are surprising, it was kind of ruined for me because I reckon the trailer shows too much. I saw the trailer when it was first dropped a couple of months ago and right before I watched this movie, I decided to give the trailer another watch so I could prepare myself. And something that I didn't remember was how much actually shows in the trailer and when you watch through the movie, even though some shocking and surprising things happen, when it comes to those moments or just before those moments, in your head you flash back to the trailer and you're like oh this looks about where this thing in the trailer happened so that's where things can become predictable not because they give any hints away in the movie that oh it's gonna happen but just because the trailer they released had a lot of spoiler territory stuff in it which I don't really like to see I mentioned this in the pros but this movie is very dark very intense and very brutal. Now as I said for me, I don't mind that stuff if it's done well then I can find it very powerful. In other circumstances you can think they just do it just because you know they can, they've got an age rating so they can do what they want, they can force it but this it all felt natural for me but 
if this isn't your type of movie, then you can argue it is too depressing, too dark. I mean, depressing things happen in a short amount of time. But yeah, that's not some. That's not a problem I had with this movie. Just to give a bit of a warning to anyone who watches it, that you have to be the right person for it, and also that you have to be mentally prepared. I found The Devil All the Time a superb movie, one of the best of 2020, and I'm going to give it an 82%. Thank you for watching this review. If you did enjoy, please like and subscribe. I'd really appreciate that. If you'd like to see any of my other 2020 reviews, I'll leave a clickable card up in the corner here. It'll have a playlist full of those movies. But yes, anyway, I hope you enjoyed and I hope to see you in my next video.